this is making moves. And we're 50,000 rand to invest in a business. 11 entrepreneurs will come face to face with our panel of judges to pitch for this investment. I'm not convinced on where you're wanting to spend the money. Your business could be in line to win this grand prize and our money in the bank seat. Your business could be operating from home, the streets, or at a fancy office, no matter, from a bicycle. Oksalayo, we are looking for you. Only four entrepreneurs will make it to the final episode to pitch for that investment. Watch Making Moves every Monday, 2 p.m. on SABC One. Zansi for sure. There are no secrets to success other than hard work, preparation, and learning. Nam challenges to push it to some man gamu, some money in the bank. La po yko na sobono soma businessi abane. We kutela na phone alum kome alum kulu. Oga fifty thousand rand. Now we gamu businessi abu top four. AB Trading and Projects, Brocom Electrical, Stone Decor, and SB Brands. In Gabbege na ubani gozo thola ituba loguti apume lelege lomu kome lona om kulu oga fifty thousand rand. Aha mbaye kaya na lili check. Salala Silicon. Let's find out. So we can so good about AB and trading and projects, bang and bio pitch. Got on a pamboo bang and bay parrot. I guess he's a good coach up. You want to go and join me at my up. Job be on getting a bit of pitch. A disadvantage for AB Trading is that they both have jobs. So that could still stand a very difficult uh, position and that because the question still becomes how are you going to grow this business if you still have got a job? And that's a question that is very difficult for them to answer. Ngabena nizo picha for long nan kul mengawo e kalini or is sentient le pichi and ugu no gunye and gabantin zok fire gule pitch or was engazu kumele. No, it's a, it's the same pitch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're just gonna go into detail more on what we initially pitched for. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Sure see. Sure see. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome back to the show. Thank, Thank you, you. Okele. Okay. Congratulations for making it to the finale. I'd like you to introduce you to two new judges, Asanda and Paleza. Nice to meet you. For obvious reasons, you haven't seen them, but they will be judging your pitch today. Instead of four minutes, you have three minutes to present your case to us. Your three minutes starts now. Okay, thank you. We are Alan Biganyo Trading and Projects PTY Ltd. We are biodiesel manufacturers based in Hamaskral, Morocco. Potential clients can get a hold of us on our email on the screen or on our Facebook page. With a cash injection of 50,000, this is what we'll be needing the 50,000 for. A petroleum wholesaler license for 25,000, uh, which will gain trust with our clients because we'll be selling uh, legally. And then we, we also want to buy a washer tank, which costs 15,000, which will double our profits from what we are getting right now. And we also, with the remaining 10,000, we'll be using it for the operational cost to increase our production. This is a picture of the washer tank. Our financials, our current financials are as follows. Uh, with our current uh, processor, we can process uh, around 3,200 liters, and we sell our diesel for 10 rand. And then we make a profit uh, margin of two rand on a liter. So we make a profit of 6,400. And with an additional washer tank, we'll be able to make uh, 6,400 liters, and we'll be make, able to make a profit of 12,800. And if we use the washer tank and double uh, our production hours from 8 hours to 12 hours, we'll be able to make the following, uh, 12,800 liters, and we'll be able to make a profit of 25,600. And with the savings, uh, Mikanyo with, will take you through. With the savings, uh, from our profits, uh, what we'll be saving uh, when we're running for 8 hours, Savings per month will be 5,800, and after 24 months, that amount will be 139,200. 
When running for 24 hours, savings per month will be 11,600. And after 24 months, that money will be uh, 278,400. Since uh, we are trying to industrialize this project, uh, this amount will be used uh, as a deposit for the Amonza 2000 uh, biodiesel processor, which cost about 460,600. And can, the, the processor can produce about 120,000 liters of biodiesel per month. Uh, deals gained from completing the task. These are the deals we gained from completing the previous tasks. Uh, we managed to get a letter of intent from two big companies in Pretoria. One is a construction company, and the other one is a logistic company. Uh, the company combined, they are willing to take about 70,000 liters of biodiesel from us per month. And again, we, we, we did get a mentorship uh, with Matayo Biofuels. Uh, we're going to share a, a, the raw material network with them especially the used oil. So that's why now we are pushing our production to be 24 hours, because the, uh, the, the shortage of used the oil. The time is up, okay. Judges, do you have any questions for the gentleman? Yes, I do. Um, on, on the breakdown of the 50k, how you will lose, use that, uh, you say 10,000 will be for operational costs. Yes. Can you just elaborate on uh, how that will be spent? Operational costs, we, we, we're going to buy a used oil with it, a methanol, which we use for, for, for the transesterification process, as well as the catalyst, potassium hydroxide, uh, to, to speed up the process. That's, that's how we're going to use it. Will you require more labour for you to be able to run at the times that you want to run at? Yes, we will. Okay, and do you have working capital to afford that additional labour? So if we double our profits from what we're getting right now, we'll be able to, we'll be able to acquire someone who will be full-time on the project, okay. plus including one of the directors, which is me, who will also be, be full-time on the project, since we, when we started with the competition, we we're both working. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I see that you have plans to ramp up to 24-hour production. Can you tell us more about that? Uh, the 24-hour production will be in shifts. So we'll run from eight-hour shifts, and then once the other person has left, then the other shift will start. So with the process, only three hours is required for a technician to be in the lab to process the, the biodiesel, and the eight hours is washing. So in the first, first two hours, he'll have to wash the, the, the biodiesel, and the other remaining, it will stay overnight and be washed in the morning. Thank you very much for that. We'd Thank like you. you to step out. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Bye. I can not picture net amele pila, cause most of the thing nerenya kudi presenta like ready to let me pitching. I think or everything that included let me pitching was enough for us to or reka reka win the competition. As we are implementing our systems from our uh, quality management system uh, with our new Time's offices. Up to do so. The weaknesses at this stage, uh, what, what I realized from Borkom was that uh, it's, it's in an industry that is uh, he's competing with very big players. Um, so obviously now when it comes to resources, when it comes to that, the jobs that are supposed uh, to be done are quite big jobs that requires a lot of capital to do. So he's sitting in a position where he might always also need to have uh, joint ventures and such things. Uh, he's unable to, to carry on some things on himself because of the size of the business.
congratulations for making it to the finale. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm all right. I'm happy. Happy? happy that I'm here, yes. Good to hear. Your three minutes starts now. All right. My name is Mtutuzi Makakula. I am the founder of Procom Electrical. Uh, in a world where everyone is trying to diversify, uh, we've decided to um, stick to our niche and own it as Procom Electrical. As a provider of electrical, uh, engineering, construction and maintenance services to asset owners that we provide our services to, quality management remains uh, the major key for big contracts which is why we are going to spend these 50,000 rands uh, from making moves towards it. We make an average of 100,000 uh, turnover per month, whereby about 25% to 30% is our profit. So what we've done, we've decided that we're gonna keep at least 10,000 rands per month, uh, saving towards our certification. The rest of the profits will be kept on a separate account uh, as we always do. We keep most of um, our profits in a separate savings account uh, to cover us in case of any uncontrolled challenges and any events that may come about, such as the one that you, you see on the photo there. Uh, our plan uh, versus the investment that we're gonna get from making moves. If you take a look at my table there, you'll see that we've actually given ourselves um, a time frame of if we are going to try and find ourselves how far we can go. Uh, by the look of things there, if everything goes well, we are going to save 10,000 rands a month, and by March next year, we will be able to finance our own certificate. However, on the other side, on the yellow side, uh, if we get the 50,000 rands uh, from making moves, already we've got two months of savings, and which means by November we will be certified, uh, which means it will help us to actually do it quicker than we can do it ourselves. Mining and industrial uh, uh, industries collectively uh, spends about 499 million uh, per year which is the market, that's only an electrical project, which is the market that we are missing out on if we are not certified. So the sooner we are certified, the better, and we are going to be able to rub shoulders with the giants in our industry, and more jobs will be able uh, to be created from that. During my first pitch, um, our company had employed eight full-time um, full staff members. Uh, today, we are sitting at 12 full-time staff members, which means we are growing uh, 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 as we are implementing our systems from our uh, quality management system. Uh, with our new Climb offices... Up to Tutuze. Tutuze, your coach, Lucas, spoke to you when you had a session with him, previously when you were on the show. And he suggested a few avenues to you that you could use instead of using your own working capital to attain the certification. Did you consider that at all? Yes, we did. Um, I went around, um, knocked on a lot of doors in um, the government parastatal organizations which actually fund us. So the problem with us and them is that I feel like somehow they are tailor-made to find, to find people with tenders, with existing tenders, mm. because they do not fund you, they borrow you the money. And when they borrow you the money, they, want, they are expecting you to tell them by when you're gonna bring it back and you must actually have it, a, a purchase order. So in our case, the certification is not something that we're gonna get a purchase order and use mm. right away and make money from it. It's something that's going to help our company grow in time and also it's gonna help us open new markets. Mm. You mentioned that if you had the certification, you'd be able to work with some mining giants, which is excellent, by the way. Have you had a chance to speak to any mining giants in the meantime while you are trying to get your certification? Because it takes a few months for you to be able to get a contract signed by them, so it might be worthwhile for you to have already spoken to them. Had you considered speaking to any of them in the meantime? Yes, um, I have, and I'm also on the waiting list of uh, local entrepreneurs that um, are actually going to be pitching also to them. Okay. So uh, for this year, they said they've closed, but then next year early, they'll open again and then they'll give me a chance to hear me out what I want to do. If someone said they would fund the certificate, so outside of this competition, what else would this money be used for that could have 
direct, immediate impact in your business? Sorry, um, can, you, can you give the No, I mean, if, if, for example, someone said we would fund your certification process, yes. so with this 50,000, what, what could you do that could have direct impact that is tangible tomorrow? Uh, the plan is to grow, and by growing, we've Growth. decided also to open an office at Metalbeck, uh, which is actually the center of the mining industries around. And we've decided that if that one is now well and we are working from there, we're going to open another uh, office at Rustinbeck, which is also another town built by mining activities. So because that's where our market is, and if we have the 50,000 rand, we'd actually keep it and try to open other offices uh, nearby because we don't want to be traveling three to four hours to, to work. We'd rather be uh, near where the mining uh, activities are happening. Dizzy, thank you. Thank you. I think my pitch went well, even though it was difficult. The time was very limited, but I tried to um, put out especially the numbers that I wanted uh, uh, to show to the judges. So yeah, I hope for the best. I still think it's kind of unacceptable that he didn't have his financials sooner. That mm. shows something about his, 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 his drive and yes. his ambition. Business way to start to get also picture, Kamalaki upright, or Puma was don't take home. Don't be so long as cut a picture will call. Much as you wait, quagnes in Tesimbal, Babifunu Guzas. Lapapa Kurma would be Funu Bonagas, Lugutti, Loka Kulmangago, Bupu Faras, but Pinda would be Funu Bonan of Faras being what is like. Go to one man, I guess he's with Mukakeshwak, who teening a matuba, a He has went out to, to sort of also work on bringing his, his part. To the investors to say, here I have come up with this much money, and this is now much money I need to be able to get the malls, to be able to move into new products and that. If he can show that, it will sort of uh, demonstrate that commitment also from him that he's not looking for only help, he's someone that is in this business and that is looking for someone to give him that push uh, to go an extra mile. Kazi skatwa ulani kali ni upicha ma church zoe tu akto hozela lugo kulmangago baba unuti business la kulisese mene sigal kuto wa viti ungu fagas kwezi nizi kabu upetu fagas namtla njuma bifu nubo nuti la makas mene kulmangao api no matuli la mash not really ang na wufagas opening but uh, I think in terms of I do have information which is a bit concrete mm -hmm. yeah so bana na thanks bro gavon kapulo shona kwa <laughs> Congratulations for making the finale. Well done. Your three minutes starts now. Thank you. Uh, if you allow me, I would like to actually go to recap on the previous task. Um, they asked me for to apply for actually to deal with the, with the systems for the business, which my application is currently on process with the SASOL ESD, which they are currently going to help me in terms of all the system that I need to actually make the, the business run smoother. And in terms of customers, the new customers, I had in talks with WPHO and Murai Roberts. WPHO is currently busy with the infrastructure. They are building the road in Secunda, which uh, the product that I, I came here for to expand the, the, our product, which is a cab, is actually needed on that road. So we, 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 we're still in talks with those guys. And also in terms of the business system, the whole business system, how the business operates, that one is in advanced stage. I should be signing off the documents in the next few days, but it's actually in advanced stage. And also the cash build, we went to cash build as well. We've sent them the, the products that we want to offer them and the pricing. We're still waiting for their response. It's just that it, it takes a bit of a time. 
And lastly, on a positive one, we have actually reached a memorandum of an understanding with Timber City in, in Richard that we are going to actually help supply them with caps. And as we speak right now, we already got an order which we actually supposed to deliver it on Friday. So we're busy with that one. And coming to our financials, when I came here, I didn't have the financials for 2017, but yesterday I got my financial for 2017, and things doesn't really look good, but I mean, this year, I mean, at this month, we're in a better space. So what I'm trying to say is we, we made a decline in terms of our turnover, and our final results, we made actually a loss, which is, as you can see, we on 142,000 in terms of our loss. But that is not much of a problem because if we check from March till now in terms of our, our current income, we managed to reach about 1.5 million at this point of time, which we've never done in the past four years, which is the first time. So we are on a good, on a good pace, though we had a, actually a decline. Um, I just want to tell you what we're going to do with the money. The money that we need, we want to buy the, the additional caps that we need and the total amount that will, will, will help us to get the, the, the caps that will help us to be competitive. It's 99,408 and that means we're gonna actually add the different. As I said, we actually doing better now. So we'll be able to add the different in terms of the 50,000. And that one, the, 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 the additional caps will make our income to actually- Right, your time is up. Um, you say your so your numbers are not good for for 2017. That is Do you know what the the major contributing factor is on on that decline? Okay, 2016 um, was very difficult for the business. So what happened? We came up with a strategy that because we don't really get business, mm -hmm. we're gonna start building precast rooms. So that means uh, our target we're gonna target the guys which got checks so they can build a precast room. But the challenge that what we did, we said, because those people there, it's difficult for them to afford, we're gonna try to reduce the pricing and we also gonna give them a credit of which mm. we made a mistake okay. to start giving them credit. Mm. And we then, with that, we, we've got a lot of customer, about 80,000, which hasn't paid okay. as at today. Mm. So then also, the, our, our, actually our loss there, it also talks about it, the, the depreciation, it's been taken into account in terms of our expenses in, in, in our statement. Okay. And how much was the depreciation on your statement? It was on 60,000. 60,000. That's okay. correct. All right. You don't speak at all about how much money you're going to be making should you put this 50,000 into the curves that you're talking about. So what's your return on investment going to be? <laughs> Yeah, my return on investment, it is going to be uh, a, on 19%. On, on, on okay. I worked out on an average because I combined the caps. So some of them will be cheaper, but it's between 8 rand and 90 rand a cap. And when I do the average calculation, so we're looking at about 19% in terms of our return on investment. Mm -hmm. What I wanted to see was if he was putting 50,000 rands, would it actually have a direct impact on his business? And I see you mentioned that it would increase um, by 700,000, over 700,000. Our annual turnover, that's Your correct. Your turnover. Mm. And you'd be able to employ more people. That is correct. How long would it take for that 700,000 to kick in? Would that be after 12 months or after six months? Look, the 700,000 is calculated in 12 months, so that's an annual, that's an annual different, that one, yeah. Got okay. it. Okay. I'm covered. Thank you, Brad. Thank you. Uh, I would say, in the way pitch, because even today, it's shy. So, but um, I'm glad to go say I did manage to address in the financials and we'll see what's going to happen in terms of when I get the money. But yeah, one thing I'm not happy about is the, 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 the I didn't manage to complete the pitch. My only concern was I don't feel he answered well enough for me how he's going to penetrate the market mm. further. It's true, Palisa, because especially because this is a guy who's already spending 35k on marketing. Correct. Yeah. last time a picture like I was Queen Sizwagas confident was shiny picture. Got to go a manjinga, Pamot Simboni, a picture. 
kulis kabeli samangam agesi zogo tiko chakion itingai. I I I just think that his business is such a such a huge operation that um, fifty thousand rand will definitely assist assist a bit in his business. But I I, I would have hoped that he's going to come in today and showcase what other opportunities he's tackled into, what other funding uh, in, um, um, institutions has he has he gone to speak to. Galiskati uzo picha e kalini. Ipicha kwa kilega kulu e gurichu sana makost. Aleso ya mensi yako. Ingawa njoo busu gule manje. Sasa zogus kile gule lo tabalo lo gule picha. Gule picha sasa kile gule lo tabalo. And you know with the task, nati lugo ting understand lugo how we going to do it. Manje zimo practical ni yazo lugo ting melenge la ngi la ngi nzaso ngi nzaso spendi malenga you know to reduce to reduce the cost. Yebo ba. I'm going to show you how to get the picture. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Yeah, Phil. Congratulations on making it to the finale. Thank you so much. Thank you so on much. On a nervous barometer from one to ten, how are you feeling? Oh, a bit nervous, you know. <laughs> Is that a two? Oh, it's a two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Your three minutes starts now. Good day, judges. My name is Bonga Shabangu, the managing director and founder of SB Brands. Allow me today to take you through how we're going to spend the 50,000 Rand. Yes, sorry. Um, we're going to focus on reducing uh, the cost of sale by at least 25%. So we currently add uh, 12 and 2 cents per kilo. So we're going to, by winning that 50,000, we're going to take it down to 920 per kilogram. After our coaching session with, uh, with, with my coach and the task I was given to go around and, you know, look for, um, you know, for farmers, you know, sit down, I had a meeting with um, Minister Matala Masugu and the Youth Chamber of Commerce in Bumalanga to help me find these farmers and food manufacturing companies that have CSI programs, you know, where I can get in, learn, you know, partner up with farmers, number one. And number two, I also met with uh, a food technologies consultant, you know, to help me with uh, suppliers and improving the formulation, you know, and making sure that we reduce costs and also a manufacturing process because we can cut costs. So that's my meeting with um, Minister Madala Masugu and the Youth Chamber of Commerce. How will the money be spent? Uh, 15,000 is going to be focused on uh, food, on my food technologies and 35,000 at Swift Silica you know, for nutritional and cells, shelf life, micro tests, and food handling training. A sales focused on a first month based on the 10 tons we do a minimum every month, uh, income 200,000 with a gross profit of 80,000 and a net profit of 25,000. Over 12 months, we have 300,000 net profit. Judges help us take humanity forward because you know, in, in, in the market we're in, government spends over six billion on dry goods every year. And as a small player, and a very small player in the market, by winning the 50,000 and taking down the cost of sale is gonna help us and give us advantage into the market and fight you know, the big guys. And yeah, um, yeah thank you so much uh, for, for, for this opportunity. And yeah, we making moves, thank you. Do me a favor, go back to your profit slide. So you're saying in the first month, you are projecting sales of 200,000, gross profit of 80,000. What are you basing that gross profit on? Is it on the cost reduction or is it on increased sales or what exactly, are you, where are you saying you're going to get that 80,000 from? Okay, so we do 10 tons a month. Yeah. And currently we add uh, pff, manufacturing costs, a cost of sale, we add 12 and two cents per kilogram. So by winning the 50,000, we're gonna, re by reducing the cost of sale by 25%, it's gonna take it down to 920 cents, yeah. selling at 17 rand 54 cents. I think I asked you this previously when you're on the show. Mm -hmm. I don't hear you speaking about what exactly you're going to do to get that 25% reduction. 
what are you going to do? Okay, there's food technologist uh, consultant. What they do, they come in, they look at your formulation, they look at your production process, and then they improve it, they help you with suppliers. For instance, I had a meeting with one of the food uh, uh, consultants. He helped me get one supplier, and actually now we were able to um, reduce the cost of sale by a rand as we speak. Uh, so by um, you know contracting him to come in and look at everything that's happening inside, he's going to help me push down the cost of sale by at least 25%, and he says it's possible. Do they help you with the actual process inside the, the, the plant itself, the manufacturing plant, to yes. drop um, um, costs there as well? Yes, so what they do, they help me with the formulation, they help me with the manufacturing process, where it starts, where it goes, you know, we need to save costs there, and they help me with finding the right suppliers. And so they negotiate on your behalf with those suppliers? Yes, they negotiate, you know, it's suppliers they've worked with I before, see. yeah, they've built relationships. Okay, yeah. okay. all right. So with the, the food technologist uh, coming on board, uh, how much time will you need that person for, uh, for that 15000 that you need to pay them? All right. Uh, the food technologist, they charge 7500 per session. We need about seven, uh, five sessions. However, he said, no, he'd give it to us at 3000 per session. So he's going to charge us 15000 uh, okay. for all five sessions. Oh. And then in these sessions, five days, we're going to sit down and, and, and do all the work. In terms of your additional revenue, so you mentioned that you're going to be doing some education. Is this now for your customers in educating them in soy mints? No, 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 it's internally. So Edu that's your internal education? Yes, internal How education. are you going to drive your revenue in the market outside of your... So now you've got your formulation done, you've re you reduced your cost of sales, now you need to generate more revenue for your clients. Mm -hmm. How are you going to do that? How are you educating your clients? That's a very great point, actually. Um, as I mentioned that, uh, you know, teaming up with organizations, for instance, you know, we had a meeting with Massmart. They want us to come in and, and do their home brands. You know, we're going to do home brands for, you know, pick and pay. So they're like, guys, look, they come into your, your manufacturing facility, they also you know, look at compliance, they look at if you take your stuff in for training, uh, and if, you, if you're compliant and you take your stuff in for training, you know, you're more trusted you know, than, than, than the other guy who's not, not doing you know, okay. yeah. Thank you very much. I think my pitch went 50-50, oh, you know. Um, I think I was panicking, and you know, I was worried about the three minutes and I had to cut some stuff out, but yeah. So we could invest 50,000 in this business and it could mm. just sink. If we weren't investing in risky businesses, then why are we in this? Ladies, we've seen four awesome businesses. They have whatever they have going on. Their businesses are functional, employing people, what do you think about Brocom? Let's start there. Duduzi and his business. Right, so on my end, I think um, I was quite impressed at the fact that um, from the last time that he did his pitch, he's already employed about three or four new staff members mm. already that are in the business, which is great. What he wants the, to use the funding for, that certification, is actually so that he can get contracts with mm. big mining giants. That takes a long time itself. Mm. So mm. everything that we're looking at is very long term. Mm. It's not a kickoff. Mm. He doesn't need to fund it mm. but from his own pocket. Yeah. You know, I think uh, had he done more in terms of approaching these mining companies, looking at ED and what they can be doing there, he can actually find the money to 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 get that certification going. Yeah, yeah I, I I don't quite agree mm. though. Okay, because I think corporate has its own set yeah. of red tape. True. Um, True. I think they have their processes. I think they have financial mm. year ends. They have times of intake. I think they, in, in fact, even worse than government. Mm. Let's chat more about AB trading and um, the projects. Alan and Boikanyo, I, I was impressed by mm. the fact that they've gone out, got those letters yeah. of intent. So, I mean, that shows, that shows a drive. That yeah. shows these are individuals who know what they want, they've got a plan. Yeah. I'm thinking these guys are making biodiesel. Mm. That biodiesel is not yet certified or accredited with any quality standard yeah. management body. Mm. And they're putting this fuel in really expensive machinery. Yeah. So their, their risks, 
the exposure as a business mm -hmm. to something going wrong is really high. So we could invest 50,000 in this business and it could mm -hmm. just sink. If we weren't investing in risky businesses, then why are we in this? We're looking at risky businesses that have the potential to be sustainable yeah. and generate massive profits and have huge impact, mm -hmm. yeah. which is mm -hmm. what this business actually can do. Throw decor. Right. What did you guys right. think about right. these pictures? What excited me about um, Bright is um, you know, when we were doing the, when we were looking at, at his business and deliberating, we didn't have the financials. And today he comes with financials that um, are up to date. Mm -hmm. I, I did ask him, I was trying to get a sense of if we gave the 50,000 rands and you had these more people and mm -hmm. you had these products, mm -hmm. when do we start to see results that mm -hmm. our investment is moving in the right direction? So sure, you forecasted mm -hmm. that in 12 months time, you would have an increased 700,000 rands plus mm -hmm. in your mm -hmm. revenue. But when do we get to see that? Because we can't wait a year. Mm. to see traction. Uh, this is a guy who's got an order with Timber City already mm -hmm. to deliver. You know, this came up because of the show. I mean, mm. him being on the show. Mm -hmm. That shows something about his, 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 his drive and yes. his ambition and to really take this um, where it's supposed to be going. I still think it's kind of unacceptable that he didn't have his financials sooner. Mm. Because I'm saying you should have them drop by drop. Yeah. Mm. That's yeah. how you're going to drive your margins. That's how you're going to see yeah. a profitable business. And lastly, Bonga. When we were deliberating, we were all concerned about reducing cost of sales is a behavior change. Mm. You're doing yeah. things differently. Mm. Do you know how to do that? And do you have the ability mm. and the capacity to do mm. it? And his answer is, I'm bringing the capacity in mm. and at a third of the price. Mm. Very smart. My only concern was, I don't feel he answered well enough for me how he's going to penetrate the market mm. further. It's true, Palissa, because especially because this is a guy who's already spending 35K on marketing. Correct. Yeah. So yeah. for him to say what more he's going to do is actually very critical. It's critical. It's critical. It's critical. I feel like he left me hanging yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It is about behavior. Mm -hmm. So the staff members taking them for training, you know, Good. Mm. that's important because then, yes, we're reducing, so we're doing things differently. Yeah. Yes. So he understands that. So yes. for me, that says he understands, he understands his area. The only thing I'm going to fault long on is that I feel he's done sucking this 25%. So initially when he did his first pitch, mm. um, we alluded to the 25% drop. Oh. The worst thing is to, have, to approach a specialist and to think that the specialist is going to do all the work to in your you. business. I'm gonna ask us to take a moment and to think about impact. That's what we're driving here. We do have a winner. Gentlemen, you all did your con uh, presentations, so congratulations on getting through that. It must have been nerve-wracking for all of you. We have some feedback for all of you, just something for you to take home from each of the judges' hearts. I'm going to start with Balesa. Um, congrats, gents. You've done really, really well. The calibre of our presentations was really, really great, especially the calibre of the entrepreneurs. So from the perspective of um, the judges, what we were looking at was your ability to explain um, how your 50,000 rands would make an impact in the business. We also wanted to look at you, the entrepreneur, 
What are you about? Um, what makes you an exciting entrepreneur to invest in? And how are you applying this 50,000 rands to create more impact? So those, are the, those were the kind of things that we were looking for. Um, but what, was, what stood out for all of us was you all have really strong businesses, you're all passionate entrepreneurs, and you're all in it to win it, which is really exciting from an investor's perspective. So congratulations. And from me, congratulations as well. Uh, you all did exceptionally well. I mean, it is nerve-wracking to stand here and, and pitch, so we do understand that. To all of you, I think the most important thing that came out strongly is that you love what you do, you're passionate about what you do. And I think with that drive, irrespective of what happens today, we have no doubt that each and every one of you will make your businesses work simply because you've shown that tenacity and that drive. So congratulations yet again. Thank you. Thank you. Gentlemen, you know, I look at you and I'm assured that the economy of our country will grow. The caliber of entrepreneur that each of you are is commendable. So irrespective of who wins this competition right here and right now, I want you to walk away proud. Having said that, there is only one winner. It was tough. Yeah. It was tough. <laughs> I'm going to ask Balesa to do the honors of announcing the winner. So the winner are 50,000 rands. Is SB Brands. Wonga, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Well done, well done, well done, well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. more, plan more, and then done. Well 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 Give feedback as well because of the one of our women represent the whole So I think God by feeling to to the best man. So apparently it was tough. So unfortunately they have to be one man. The experience was quite good. I enjoyed every single uh, bit of it, and I'm excited that I've managed to make it to the top four. So it's very exciting for me. It's quite a good experience and validation on the business I'm running. What I'm going to take from the judges is actually everything that uh, they've actually said. Uh, it's all relevant and I'm going to try it step by step and surely it will take my business to the next level. My experience at Making Moves, it has helped me quite a lot and to help me to be more in touch in terms of my business, to understand everything that's happening in business and to get to be more aggressive, especially to get the access to market because I mean those tasks which they gave it to me, it, it made me to go to some people which I've never went to. but. I knew that they, those are actually my target customers, but I've never went to them. Bon Brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, yeah. Is this yeah. Orange, no, I'm really excited and mm -hmm. I'm, I'm really humbled. Yeah, you know, yeah um, you know, I was going against, you know, very, very um, well um, established and, you know, fighting, you know, entrepreneurs. However, mm -hmm. you know, I was able to, you know, to win and take on the 50,000 rand. So, yes, sir. Yeah, look, I'm, I'm, I'm really humbled and then, Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you are Si vala la nagele season le nage e making moves kwa to kumbulu kuti next week si sasa kona kala pants patelo so ma business abash so sana next week. If you are an entrepreneur and would like to be featured on the show, 
contact us on making moves at sabc.co.za or visit our website. Loiso Pepeta from Topperfield to Dairy in Coxstead. A e business e two yenza e e primary if e primary and the secondary. See si producer UBC Elka Inkomo and then senza e second e second product Enga Masi and also the fresh milk. E product e to e thing so a quick chain stores. So we bought out of KZN and the Eastern Cape where e market e to. In the city, unique Ngayo, the producer Amasi, and Amasi it is the full cream Amasi and Tubulul. When we bought the farm, employee employment day twenty six, we have managed to establish two forty two permanent employees. Immediately we re-establish sterilized milk. We are projecting that we can create a permanent employment of sixty employees as permanently. Ekaleni, umsebenzwam, ika kula usa office ni. Um, ikuanza yongi dot vena na basa bens, you capture rich invoices, ukutong to bana um ubisilu tati we tati orders, but safmana ipuki paso. Umsebenzwam ika kulu kengo, use ku jongi ndo kubana ipo tati tu we market yenza kake na. So it means get then I'm a relationship person between Copperfield Dairy and the customers out there. E plus is early 2012, and we move uh, in in January 2012. To Ugoza's was opportunity to buy the farm, three assistant getala. We bought the farm, Zangaba request the which other banks they will say for to secure a risk on their side. Indonesia Misangayo, so that immediate class is shown as was waited. So it allows us to send the loan into a quarter And then we they will always talk about 10% or 20% because this was the land plus no movables. As I said, because it's structure said deal, we're buying land and also building. And also we we, we, we bought e, e, e animals. And then so the equipment. We only pay a commitment fee for business must be serious and do a business. When you go to state uh, development banks, there is a longer turnaround. It will take 12 months for your approval of your business plan and the transaction to be true. It will be more than 12 months. But they proved them a lot of people wrong because it was a maximum of four months. Uh, and then we were in the farm. Uh, so in the turnaround time, they were so quick with turnaround time to make sure that they were in the plaza. 